breaking news in Houston's south side now. A man shot in the neck, his car in a ditch. Yeah, ABC 13's Pooja Lodia joining us now live from the scene along London near Alice with how police were first alerted to the shooting in the first place. Good morning to you, uh, Pooja. Good morning to you, Samika. Police have actually surrounded this area as they search for those responsible. And I want to show you what's going on here live because you can see that vehicle being towed away here live. Well, that is the vehicle of the victim in this case. That victim is now in critical condition. And police say when they arrived around 2 a.m., they found that man lying in the ditch. They found his vehicle right next to him. They say that he did receive CPR here on scene. He was rushed to the hospital. He had been shot once in the neck and doctors at this point are giving him a 50 50 chance of survival. Police say they first got a call on this based on its spot shotter program. That's something we've been talking about actually for several months here on Channel 13. That is technology that detects gunshots around our city. And while police were on their way over here, they say they started getting calls from neighbors. It looks like he just backed in there accidentally. And then the other vehicle pulled up and the folks got out of the car and they were kind of there talking for a little bit and then all of a sudden gunfire went off. Only one shot, actually. And the good news out here is police say a neighbor actually captured a lot of this on camera. So they do have a description of the suspect's vehicle, and that is what they're looking for right now. At this point, no arrests. The victim, again, remains in critical condition. But as you can see, this scene continues to be active as police search for those suspects. Reporting live, Pooja Lodia, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, and uh, Pooja, I mean, so as we understand, it, the suspects could actually be somewhere in the neighborhood as we speak. That is right, and that's why we've actually seen police sort of stationed on other nearby streets wow. because they say that they do believe that this person didn't go very far. At this point, they're just trying to make an arrest. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. Uh, unfortunate news on Snooty Wild, as you saw right there. He was shot the other day, hit in the neck, went to the hospital. They gave him a 50-50 chance of surviving, man. But he's now been pronounced dead. It got confirmed through his team and people close to him and everything like that. I want to first and foremost send condolences to the family of Snooty Wild, everybody close to him, everybody who was around him. Uh, kids, anybody in his family who dealt with him, they the ones that's going to be suffering the loss the most, man. And it's an unfortunate situation. Uh, it, it's it's crazy out here right now, bro. Like, me and somebody being from Houston, but this is going on nationwide where it ain't even just an attack on rappers. It's just the streets, this period is crazy. Uh, Houston is number one in murders right now and that ain't nothing to brag about at all a nigga not trying to get no cards or respect for that type of shit but i just know houston is turned up all the cities across america is turned up seems like after that pandemic and coronavirus it brought a whole nother energy out man but as far as snooty wild goes man i remember seeing dog 2014 south by southwest came into the venue actually i was in the line to go in him and his team was like walked up on the side of us and uh, they walked in, you know, they cut the line and shit. But like, this was way before I started a YouTube channel, way before I started, way before I even thought about starting some shit like this. I was just a rap hip hop fan, real nigga go to the shows, like a real hip hop nigga, like hip hop fan, real hip hop fan. I'm going to the shows, I'm in the crowd, I'm downloading streaming every tape so i'm seeing everybody come in the game and he had a show and uh man he went in there performed it i like this flow like the style because they came in with a certain type of energy i had been seeing him on instagram but this was before it got announced that he was really like cmg and everything he performed with trinidad james uh rich homie kwan and a couple other people i can't remember it was a lot a whole lineup because you know south by southwest they be having different venues and shows for the festival vibe. So after that, next thing I know, Yayo took off a few months later. Started going crazy. 
Everybody started remixing it, freestyling on it. Started getting this showing that hey man, he was talented at making hits, bro. Came back with the shit that made me with K Camp. That went crazy. And there was a couple other tracks he was on that was going crazy also, bro. Had his own style. So, man, it's just an unfortunate situation, man. I hate to see this shit time and time again with our people in general, but especially our, our artists, our stars, our culture. Everything like that, it, it, it's just wicked. A few people came on the gram, and I'm pretty sure it's many more who just showed them love and sent their condolences to his family, man. But pronounced dead at 36 years old, bro. Condolences to his family. One dies to stay on your pit for shit show, man. We got more coming.